Which hand? That one. Yapping it up, and look at this. He's hit a nine. That makes him two pair. 400. And he bangs the 400,000 right out there. Oh, he's not playing it slow. He's pushing it hard, trying to make Freddie think that he's trying to steal it. Well, Freddie, one of the top pros in the world, one of the best readers of opponents of anybody walking on the planet. Will he read this kid right here? Can he get away from the two fours? Well, the kid's trying to shoot him out here. You got that big of a hand? Do you? I, I think you might. The kid is twitching like he's had too many lollipops. I think he's just trying to play with my head, obviously. I call. Well, Freddie's going to make the call, he's, so the antics have worked. He's getting the action, and look at Josh turns to the audience like, I'm disgusted. A complete reversal. Well, there's over $1.4 million in the pot right now. Freddie needs a king or a four. He's slow rolling me, Freddie. He's slow rolling me, Freddie. He's doing a lot of talking, he's slow this rolling kid. Me. Here's the river. Well, a five has come off. I'm all in. And he just goes all in disgustedly. Well, the kid says, I'm all in here. 800, 900,000, one, two, three, four. This is four a crew minus for help. Ten, four. It's about a million and a half dollars he's got left. I don't know, I can't count. Uh, here you go. It's okay, leave it there, leave it there, leave it there, leave it there. Freddie's just gonna let him keep talking, see if he can pick up a read on him. If indeed he's got a big hand. Well, Freddie makes a good lay down there. He gets away from the two fours. Yes, he does. And wisely so. And you can see the element of doubt in Freddie's mind. He still thinks there's a chance he had the best hand there and got outplayed. Good lay down, Freddie. You don't say that again. Honestly, good lay down. I would see it on TV. Good, I, honestly, good lay down, honestly. Well, that's a good pot for Josh. He's picking him up. He sure is. He has closed that gap considerably after the first two deals. Well, he plays an erratic, obscene game. Just brilliant poker. I mean, it's almost like you're watching another Stewie Younger. Oh, man. Stu Younger didn't even want to turn him up when he was this young, I can tell you. No, no. This is, this is, uh, we're seeing something in the making here. I have no clue. Uh, what uh, talent we are witnessing here tonight as the sun goes down have? here in Aruba. Well, you're right, Vance. The sun may be setting in the background, but it's going to be shining on one of these two guys because one of them's walking away a millionaire with a WPT title under their arm. Blind still remain at a stiff fifty and a hundred thousand dollars. When I all in, if I bet less, do you call? Yes or no, friend? Oh boy, come on, we're friends. Come on, well, yeah. come on, come on. Come He's on. a character. <laughs> it's on Josh's time. Peeks down at just an awful four-three offshoot. Two-two. Two. Yeah. Well, Vance, this just kid just doesn't slow down. He's oh. making a 250 to go here. Incredibly fearless, but Freddie D behind him got ace deuce. Nothing to laugh about. Well, Freddie's saying, you know, does this kid have a hand every time? He's raised me about every single pot that we played in this heads up situation. Well, that's as Gus Hansen have I seen such a fearless young player. And I mean that. He's either fearless or psychotic, and I don't know which one is which. <laughs> right now, Freddie's got a problem. He's got an ace baby, as we say. He's out of position. He just moved all in on him and came over the top the last hand. Freddie's going to call. Yeah, he is not going home so soon. Interesting. We can see Freddie has him dominated right now. It's ace deuce against 4-3. But Freddie doesn't know what he has. Here comes the flop. It's a king jack six. Yeah, no help to either player. Check. 400. All right. Josh is going to make a $400,000 bet with Zip and Pip. In the blink of an eye, 400000 he bets. He gets Freddie to lay down the hand. Vince, give this kid credit. We've seen him raise on a three high, a four high. This isn't like heads up online. A nine five offsuit. I mean, the kid is showing a lot of heart here to me. Heads up online, I might have an advantage. Here, I don't think I do. He has absolutely no regard for chips or money. He does I not care. Right, he just bets. I, think, I, think I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, Vance, maybe if you've never had your piggy your bank full of money, everybody. it's just chips to you. It's hey, like I'm shooting marbles one. with this kid. He's having a ball here. Who is going to take this title? Don't go away. We're coming back in just a moment. Welcome back to Aruba. The shadows are getting long here. Two players remain. Freddie D, our chip leader. You almost feel that the pressure is on Freddie D, but he's the master, supposedly, against the 20-year-old. But 
the kid doing very well so far against him. He's got 10-3 this time. Remember the last time he limped in on the button, Josh raised it, and Freddie moved in on him. This time, Josh is going to check it. Josh has just got Jack six off suit. Here comes a flop. King seven six. Josh caught a little I piece check. of that. And he's got bottom pair, and he checks. Freddie has none of it, of course. He's going for chips. Well, he's going to try to steal a pot himself. He bets a hundred thousand. I can surely call that much, Freddie. Not the words that Freddie that wanted you. to hear. Josh calls the hundred thousand. Taunting Freddie. I can do that for you, Freddie. Oh, the Joker comes off for Josh. Now he's got three sixes. And without hesitation, he bets $400,000 with the trips. Man, I don't like this bet, Vince. I think you're supposed to check it to an aggressive player, especially when you hit the Joker on the turn That's not if the guy bet on the flop. Yeah, I agree with you it's this time, right, Mike. 100%. Well, obviously, he's going to give Freddie a reason to exit here, but he's got nothing. Maybe he thought he had a little bit more. Maybe he had spades. Maybe he had a piece of it, kings or sevens. Wisely, Freddie opts to wait for a better spot. We believe the kid had something there. When the kid makes three sixes. Just perhaps overplaying that hand a little aggressively. Come on, Freddie. Push, 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 push. I did. No, you're supposed to push that hand. No, his instincts are so that good. He Freddy, plays an unorthodox hand. game, What's, but a brilliant game. I mean, it's the kind of unorthodox you want to be playing in poker. But that time, he just went a little too fast, and he shook Freddie D. Blues, and that's not what you want to do. Well, with that pot, the 20-year-old Josh like Schlein has taken events. the chip lead in this heads-up battle, Vince. Yes, he has. He's got about $3.6 million to Freddie Deeb's 2.8. An incredible turnaround as the sun goes down in beautiful Aruba. Pants. I raise. I Josh put the 300 Schlein again. getting cocky here. He's got a pair of threes wired. He says, I'm going to raise it. Well, Vince, his tactics... Or just to continue to hammer the pot and raise. And Freddie Deep says he's going all in with an ace four. He's had enough of this raising by him. this kid. He says, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I got ace four. Now it's up to Josh here. Do you want to gamble, Freddie? I think it would be a big gamble on the part of Josh to make this call. It's going to cost him two and a half million dollars to call. At the best, he can be in a race situation. That's the best he can be, in my view. It's, it's a really big gamble. You're not going to put your opponent on a deuce in his hand. Or three in his hand. So he's got to have two overcards. On the other hand, everything's going your way right now. All right, I'll gamble. I call. He makes this call. Well, he is gambling here, folks. I don't like this call. Now, he may win the pot and win this tournament right here. But I do think he's gambling. I have his opponent See, could have fives or sixes and overpair. Even if he's got two overcards, you still got to win the coin flip. But the kid is going for it right here, Vince. He might do it. If he wins this hand, he's going to be our champion. And he would be the youngest winner ever on the World Poker Tour. He would be a millionaire. He would be my personal hero. This is going to be it, Vince. One way or the other, whoever wins this pot, most likely going to be the champion for sure. He's getting down. He's saying a prayer. I don't blame him. Well, so far, so good for the kid. It's yes, come it Jack 7-5. The three's holding up at this point. Well, look at him. He knows this tournament's on his fingertips now. All he's got to do is dodge an ace or a four or two running cards to make a straight here. Here's the turn. Look at this. A pair of fives on the turn. Well, that gives Freddie a few more outs. And then he can now catch a jack or a seven to win this pot as well as an ace or a four because he'll have two pair with a bigger kicker. And this title is coming down to the river, the cash card. But right now, with one card to go, Josh is nearly a three-to-one favorite to take the title, the million, and become the youngest winner ever on the World Poker Tour. Can he do it? Oh, it's a four! Freddie Deeb has done it! Freddie Deeb has hit the four. You see the heartbreak in the kid. Just a tremendous suck out there for Freddie Deeb. Hitting on the river. That's got to hurt. Vince, he could taste the title, the million bucks, poker destiny. He had the chip lead when we started that hand. So close. And look at the guy smile. Could have been 560000 right out of his pockets there. And yet the kid is still happy. Amazing. Please say I have like 100000 left. Give me 100000 left. Uh. This is very, very exciting. Freddie D with about $5.6 million. And Josh, who had the title in his grasp, down to about 800000 Well, he sure did, Vance. But he's not out of it yet. He's still got 775000 in chips. It is not over.
Yeah. Action's on Freddie uh, Deeb. I got like one choice. Freddie has a jack three of diamonds this time. And he's going to make the call with it. And Josh check, has Jack Deuce. Check, he check, says, check, okay, check, give check. us a flop. Nothing fancy. Here we they go. Got oh, a dream flop for Freddie Deeb. Josh quickly checks. Well, he's got top pair, but look at this. Freddie Deeb flopping two pair. Well, Freddie's got him hemmed up as good as you could possibly have him right now. And he bets 100000 All in. The kid I goes all in, and Freddie quickly calls. Yep. Jack three, man. Not Jack three. What a disappointment for Josh. I'm drawing dead. <laughs> Basically. Well, has got him hemmed I'm up about as good deuces. as you can. He can't I'm lose his hand unless it comes deuce, deuce. deuce. Josh Line getting up in deep mourning. Thank you. The air just knocked out of this young man. Here comes the turn. It's a queen of diamonds. Yeah, the diamonds. Well, Josh oh, no, can get a split oh, yeah, out of this spot if it comes a queen or an ape. That's all he can do is tie it, but no, yes. an ace comes off at the river. Freddie Deeb is our champion. Freddie Deeb, who just won a million dollars in Aruba. And Josh Line, just absolutely incredible. You've got to give so much respect to the young kid. Almost the youngest winner ever on the World Poker Tour. It's all about Freddie Deeb, our new champion. Talk to our champion, Freddie D from Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Freddie, you are carrying the torch for the old timers tonight. You made the first final table in the history of the World Poker Tour. I know how bad you wanted a WPD championship. You got it here tonight. Well, I'm grateful. Uh, finally, I won one. I've been on the final table a lot, and I'm sure I played bad sometimes, but most of the times I got unlucky. And it's about time that the cuts broke even. <laughs> well, Freddie, congratulations. You've got a million dollars in your pocket. And now it's time to toast our champion with the official beer of the World Poker Tour, Budweiser. Here's to the champion of the Aruba Poker Classic, Freddie D from Las Vegas, Nevada. For Courtney Friel, Vince Van Patten, and everyone on the World Poker Tour, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. Yeah.